Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. So my videos this week have focused a lot on the herbs that our ancestors would have had access to um, at this time of year, and really all year round because they could have been dried and preserved. So we have so many things and I have not even covered 1% of the complex diet that our ancestors had in all my videos on this channel so far. How many have I done now? It's got to be close to 100 um, and lots more to come. But with this, an important question arises. How the hell am I supposed to eat all this shit? <laughs> I mean, even if we do have the knowledge to eat a perfect seasonal ancestral diet, how the hell am I in the modern day actually supposed to eat like this? Okay, maybe if you have a full-time chef or you want to spend hundreds of dollars at the health food shop each month, um, but if you don't have that, yeah, it's really not possible for us to eat like our ancestors did. This is the whole entire problem of why our physical and mental and spiritual health these days is in the shitter. The masters have decided that they want us to work for them all day and then we use what little money that we have uh, attained working the whole day and we spend it on the foods that they decided to make a profit on selling it back to us. And then what little time we have left in the day we go home and spend it on cooking. And then when we get sick, guess what? We buy their medicine and they make money off of us again. And even if we want to make a change and, and, and have a diet that will bring us good health and start to learn some of these things, we barely have the time to do some reading about this or watch some YouTube videos like you're doing on now to try and educate ourselves. And then it's time to fall asleep and do it all over again. Of course we can't eat like our ancestors did. A regular day for our ancestors would have been close to 100% revolved around sourcing the best diet um, and the exact right times of year and the exact right amount of it. Men would be going out and hunting for some top quality lean meat instead of some processed factory farm garbage like we have today. The women would be foraging uh, all these absolute superfoods and herbs uh, that are more natural and fresh than anything we can buy in our stores today. And then they would prepare the meal. Oh, and by the way, the children, they would be taught the basic knowledge of the plants and the native uh, uh, things in their habitat that were edible from a young, young age. And every single child growing up would have had the knowledge that even a nutritionist today with a PhD doesn't know about. Why? Because when our kids should actually be in, uh, learning and being out in nature, you learning useful things that would actually matter, like they did before in history, Today they are sent to schools to learn a load of shit that will never benefit them or even at the worst make life a whole lot more difficult because of the lies and poison being fed to them. If you've been watching the news this week, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but a time in a day really is very, very precious. And the way the overlords have set up society today, they have it set up in a way that we can't even do uh, in a full week what our ancestors accomplished in a few hours. Not only that, but we are actually paying the masters for the slavery that they have imposed on us, right? So yeah, no shit, we can't eat like our ancestors did. Um, this is just way too hard, and they had such a varied diet that took um, uh, the time and, and, and a connection to nature that we just just don't have today. But don't worry friends, I'm working on it at least and I will have a homestead where many will be able to live and I hope all of you are working on these types of things too, to get back to nature and live closer with nature and try and sourcing your food from places other than the grocery store. You know, there's only two ways to take back our natural ancestral diet and with that will come our overall just well-being. The first way is what we can do is just live closely to nature like they did and set up our life and daily schedule like they did and, and focus it around all the fresh foods that are in season. Second way, get rich and have a nutritionist doing it for you. So pick whichever one you want. Both will work out. Uh, I wish you all the luck and success on the journey. Uh, and I hope my video gives at least some education and inspiration uh, at least. So thank you for watching this rant. <laughs> we'll check in with the next video later this week.